well. Oh, he's a big part of it. I think having a having a, a, a large quarterback, strong quarterback, um, you can go back and watch the tape, and he's generating some push himself. Um, you know, it's not a very you know complex play, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. You know, it's pretty simple. We just have to, and everybody should dies forward, but. There's some nuanced things to it, and as long as everybody's going in the right direction, it can be very difficult for defenses to stop. Um, so I think that, you know, in general, if, if we can um, stay low and all work together on that play, it's going to be pretty difficult to stop. You outside the division, you don't play the same teams a lot like you have. You've played now Grady Jarrett twice. What have you learned about him up in the middle? I mean, well, he's a tremendous player. They have actually played him three times. I think I've played him as Ricky here, too. He's, he's a good player, really, really uh, quick, uh, unique player inside. You don't see a lot of D-tackle for that type of agility. Um, he's smart, too. You see that on tape. Um, he anticipates plays. He knows how to, um, you know, he, he has great instincts where he feels somebody moving a certain way and redirects. I mean, he's he's a very uh, a very good player, and, you know, rightfully so, was paid this offseason for it. Do the last two wins have much to do with what's going to happen Sunday night for you guys? Uh, no, I don't think so at all. I think uh, every season, every game is a new one. Uh, you can't really look too much on it. Obviously, you know, we're familiar with their structure and familiar with some of their players, and you kind of draw that a little bit. But each game is going to be different. Uh, I'm sure they'll have some things uh, fired up for us. They have some new pieces on the defense. So uh, you know, we got to approach this uh, same way we approach every week. Uh, study really hard, make sure you go out there, work on your technique, work on your fundamentals, and uh, get ready for game day. Jason, how, do you, how does a team beat the noise? How does an offense beat the noise? Uh, well, one way to try and do it is to replicate the same, a similar scenario in practice. <clears throat> Obviously, we get the, uh, the speakers cranked up, get some music blaring, so that it puts you in a situation uh, where you have to you know, be loud and you know, communication-wise. and shouting to the person next to you. Uh, and then there's also little things from you know, cadences and signals and, and whatnot to try and uh, uh, limit the effect that the noise has on it. Do you believe that one week can carry over to the next week? In other words, great second half last week by the offense that, that carry over to Sunday? Yeah, well, there's no doubt the momentum carries over. But, you know, I think um, you don't necessarily think about that. I think that all we're focused on right now is preparing for Atlanta, um, you know, Getting the game plan, getting the personnel, um, and trying to be as prepared as possible. Where did Minnesota have its success running the football against them? Um, I mean, to be.